Hi, friends. Let's continue our education on the topic of the liver. And in this lecture, I decided to briefly cover some of the functions of the liver, such as production of small proteins, regulating level of amino acids, and I'll touch base on a keto diet and conversion ammonia to urea. Also, how liver producing blood uh, proteins for a blood clotting cascade. If you've seen my previous lecture, this slide is from lecture 15A on the functions of the liver, and I will cover number two, number five, seven, and nine. Let's go. The liver is responsible for production of uh, small proteins, and the one is the most important is albumin. So I already have here, as always, picture of our digestive tract, mouse, esophagus, stomach, small intestine. This is liver and it will produce bile here into the small intestine. And we also have pancrea pancreas that will produce pancreatic enzymes. So liver will make albumin, uh, to probably the most important uh, small protein um, that is uh, in, in the bloodstream. So I will draw the bloodstream right here. So this is our bloodstream. At the end of that is a capillary blood flowing here and blood has, so the, as liver makes albumin, it's excreted here right into the blood bloodstream. And let's draw albumin like that. So it's a big pieces. Outside the capillaries, uh, we have a, a cells, tissues. Cells are floating, they are not just in the water, but they, they call interstitial, interstitial cells. It's, it's full of um, uh, different kinds of proteins, minerals, uh, water, everything is there. So albumin is here in the bloodstream. And what albumin does, it holds here on the surface mineral called sodium. Sodium is basically a salt and it attracts water, H2O. And so sodium, uh, albumin holds sodium, sodium holds water. As a result, um, water is stays in the bloodstream. It's important fa fact because capillary are permeable and water can go through and minerals can easily go through through the pores like sodium, potassium, calcium. They all can go through the capillaries, through the pores of the capillaries into interstitial cells and, um, and eventually inside the cell but albumin is holding it here. If person has a problem right here in the liver and does not produce enough albumin, as a result, albumin is not here. Sodium is not hold here. Sodium will go right straight here outside the bloodstream. Water will follow with the salt. As a result, cardiovascular system will collapse. And because water will go outside the bloodstream, patients will have edema, okay? So albumin creates so-called oncotic pressure. Next topic I want to talk about is uh, how liver controls concentration of amino acids. So when we eat food that is full of protein, protein gets into our digestive tract in the stomach, uh, protein is broken down and eventually in the small intestine, it's broken into individual amino AA states for amino acids. Individual amino acids get absorbed into the bloodstream and with the bloodstream, they get delivered into the liver and liver form, forms different protein. So our body is recycling protein. Let's say this is your muscle, right? And by the way, we have a, a lot of protein in our body, not only this muscle, like this mu muscle is a protein. Cardio is a heart is a muscle also made out of protein. Many hormones are made out of protein. So when you go to the, the gym and you exercise and some of your muscles get broken and amino acids get released right here into uh, bloodstream, they will go into the liver and liver will reassemble out of amino acids and if they will get incorporated here back into to the muscle. So you will create a new muscle or you create a new uh, hormone out of amino acids will be protein made, uh, amino acids or protein hormone. 
right? So, but we need some some of the protein in amino acids. They they totally broken down, and you constantly need to replenish that. So you put here in the mouth like a source of protein, meat, uh, beef, pork, uh, fish, uh, dairy protein. When person puts too much protein into the digestive tract, a lot of amino acids concentration will grow, will go here in the digestive tract and concentration of amino acids here in the bloodstream will go high. Liver's responsibility is take this amino acids, so liver will, it will go right here into the liver. Liver will take them and it will, can do two jobs with them, two jobs. One is AA, could be converted amino acids into fat or they could be converted into sugar. This is very expensive um, way for the body to use amino acids, very inefficient, but it does not like to do that. There is other possibility, those amino acids basically get destroyed. Let's say amino acids look like that. It's a carbon skeleton and has oxygen and carbon group here. And here it's connected to nitrogen and nitrogen has hydrogen ion here, sitting here. So it's one, two, three. Okay, this is the uh, carbon. So what liver will do, it needs to get rid of this axis of amino acids because let's suppose body does not need, uh, doesn't use it as a fat or as sugar as a source of energy. So in liver, this amino acid will get broken. So it's first it will break a nitrogen group. And when it's broken, and it's going to be NH2. It cannot be like that. So liver will add hydrogen ion here, and it will be NH3, which is ammonia. Ammonia. Ammonia is extremely toxic to our body. And I will write so you make sure it, make sure that to remember toxic. So it cannot, this ammonia cannot leave the liver. What liver will do is it will detox it. And the way it will detox, it will convert ammonia into urea. Urea. And the urea is more benign. It will get released into the bloodstream. So it will go right into the bloodstream. So urea will be here. And that urea will go through the bloodstream into your kidneys. And you will basically uh, pee this nitrogen and this hydrogen. Also this hydrogen, a lot of this hydrogen will determine acidity of the blood. So when it will, will be uh, floating here, the concentration of hydrogen will increase. So it will uh, create the acidity of the blood and uh, kidney will combat this, will deal with this problem. But the most important is that um, toxic ammonia get converted into less toxic urea. This slide I created to just to, um, excuse me, this one, is just to re refresh for you what I just said in my drawing that amino acids get broken down, nitrogen group will be released, nitrogen will, con will get converted to ammonia, which is highly toxic, and then ammonia converted into urea and get excreted. And what you do, and you will see on the laboratory work is BUN, which means that blood, urea, nitrogen. So it tells the doctor how uh, well your kidney excrete nitrogen and how much nitrogen you eat, basically how much meat you eat. The more meat you eat, the more nitrogen you excrete and a uh, higher blood urea nitrogen is going to be. And the final point um, is on the topic of making by liver coagulation protein proteins. So this picture represents blood clotting called blood clotting cascade. It has intrinsic and extrinsic pathway. And what liver does, it makes protein, fibrinogen, prothrombin factor 5, 7, 9, uh, 11, 12, as well as protein CNS in, and antithrombin. So it makes all a, a lot of, of those proteins that basically when uh, 
you uh, cut the finger or blood vessel get broken because of the high blood pressure. So anyway, the blood gets out of the bloodstream, right? Then this coagulation pathway starts because you need to plug the hole in the blood vessels. And it's uh, done by creating sort of a mesh, okay? A final product is that of that is fibrin clot. And if liver get damaged, so those proteins, they either produce in the small amount or they don't produce, a result of which the patient will have prolonged bleeding time. And it's reflected on, pit, on the laboratory work. Again, the slide is from lecture 15A, where I said um, in functional liver deficiency, uh, prothrombin time, how fast the clot get formed. If there is not enough protein, so prothrombin time, this one will be prolonged. I hope guys, I um, give you a clear presentation um, and I hope I stressed enough for you this topic that um, I am not a big fan of keto diet. I let you understand a little bit what I don't like about keto diet because um, diet full of uh, meat uh, and all kinds of protein is very um, taxing on the liver and on the kidneys. So if you have any questions, please like, subscribe. Bye-bye for now.